Hello. Um, well, we are going to explain this diamond S52. It is not an easy stage, I, I advise, because we just have to check at the map. The map impressed a little bit, okay? <laughs> well, the reason is it makes you feel like you have to defend three world plays at the same time. You have to split three forces and it's quite quite the thing. Um, first, I'm going to make um, well, an automatic battle to explain the first crazy strategy that I used. It's not optimal, I advise. And I don't recommend it. I will make a second run of this and show you how to do it. This is the first time I did it, okay? I had to split and it was a little crazy. So what I noticed the first time is that and you can cover this and this one. Because they are going to go and round all around here, they will try to head past here. We will try to continue. So you eventually have to block this one as well. But the map has a little bit more of that, okay? You will see that we will have the breakers again, they will try to head throw. They will do that Naruto running. <laughs> we have a problem here because the casters are starting to attack and all that. But as you can see it's not optimal because I'm having to pretty much in this one, for example, I have Nightingale covering this place, you can have a key. Here you can have Defender, Vanguard, anything. But as I said, uh, there is an even better way to do this, okay? No, letting them run like crazy. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to show you now what I use in this case. Um, I'm going to use a plan this time. And there is actually a point uh, of the battle that you can control to avoid the enemy to try other gates. What do I mean is you only have to defend one position. We don't need to defend uh, the three positions at all. We won't need to defend here nor here. Just focus in this area. Let's go with it. Again I will place the vanguards. But instead of having Texas over here, I will place it here. It sounds a little bit crazy, but it's actually more efficient. So it's another way of doing the, this map. As always, we start placing first the vanguards and then the snipers. And as you can see, there's a lot of movement in the enemies, but they are not really going anywhere. Here, defender or anything. 
That goal also, and then he's to have here attack. And as you can see, there's no enemies that try to make this route or this other route. They will always try to run around here, and if you block any pass, they are not going to get through. That's pretty much it. If you block any of the corners, the enemies won't be able to head to these routes, so you don't have to defend here at all. Just nuke them here, and it's okay. <laughs> these guys we are going to have some of casters one of them appears here so we can deal automatically with it the other ones might require some extra healing and that is how to do the map in a more optimal way than my first time <laughs> So anything works really, just um, take in mind that there is a trick to deal with this map so you don't have to split them. Um, maybe you don't have many wards or many defenders and you will want to simply focus in one place. You could even have a lot of uh, AoE casters and two defenders and you can just nuke the enemies with AoE. So. It's pretty doable, yeah. See you again.